Good morning, Mana Church. I am Pastor James Lewis, and welcome to another edition of Morning Mana. You know, in Matthew verse, chapter 5, verses 14 through 16, Jesus compares his followers to light. It says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Christ's words and actions show the true nature of the world around him. Christ's followers should give light to those around them by doing and saying what Jesus did. Not only by growing in relationship with Jesus every day, but by following him step by step, we par partner with him in spreading the truth. Light cannot be anything other than what it is. It's bright, it dispels darkness, and enables people to see what they are doing and where they are going. God is light. And, see, see, and since he sent his Holy Spirit to live inside believers, so are we. As his ambassadors on earth, we shine even when we don't know it. James 1 verse 22 says, but be doers of the word and not, only, and not hearers only, deceiving ourselves. This means action. Being in light is not a passive thing, it is active. And in this sense, I say, I'm saying we should set an example. We should model on the outside the change that has occurred on the inside. I like how Paul encouraged Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12 through 15. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Are you modeling that? Does your life, your words, and conduct model love, faith, and purity? Do you sow seeds of hate or seeds of grace in your interactions with those who may not same, share the same cultural beliefs as you, perhaps even with other believers? Paul continues in verse 13, Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to exhortation, to teaching. Do not de neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy when Council of elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things. Immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress. You see, your progress, that is the work of the Holy Spirit that is happening within you as you continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, as Paul told the Philippians. So it is not just for you. And as Paul continues to tell Timothy in verse 16, keep a close watch on yourself on the teaching persist in this, for by doing so, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Luke 8, 16, we see Jesus saying again, no one lighting a lamp covers it with a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand so those who enter may see the light. How is your light shining today? I pray that throughout the day, you focus on being light in a dark world. God bless you, and we'll see you again tomorrow.